What's up, Music World Music Kids out there? Thanks for tuning in to another review of mine. This is going to be Ari Lennox, Age, Sex, Location. There are 12 tracks with features with Summer Walker and Lucky Day. And let me make sure I'm not forgetting anybody else. And Chloe, of course. So, Miss Lennox done gave us an album, guys. Age, sex, location, if you were maybe, I don't know, grew up in the the early 2000s or whatever, um, around that, well, I'm 80s baby, but um, grew up in the 90s, but still, if you were old enough when AOL Messenger was around, MySpace, all that was around, you know all about the age, sex, location um, set up. That was kind of part of your profile when you did, um, I mean, that's just in general with profiles, but, um, I know for us, um, our generation, um, we use the age, sex, location or whatever on the AOL messengers, the MySpace, all that, that was kind of a thing. So I love how she used that for her, um, title on her album. Um, but let's get into it. We got tracks, Plenty of Fish, P.O.F., Hoodie, Waste My Time, Pressure, um, H Sex Location Interlude, Mean Mug, Boy By, Stop By, Outside, Leak It, Blocking You, Queen Space. So those are all the 12 tracks. Um, and again, like this album, I'm, I'm so glad that... She has released this because um, if you've been an Ari fan, because I've been knowing about YouTube for some time, even before I set up my account, because my account was created, what, 2012, I believe. Um, but I always knew about YouTube, but it took me a while to be like, okay, I want to have my own channel. So I always it, knew it was around and... I knew of artists um, such as like Fat Fat, aka Dondria, August Alcina, um, and now Ari Lennox. Like a lot of these artists that are out now, they basically were on YouTube and um, doing cover songs and stuff like that because now it's TikTok where people are starting to get um, more recognized, even if they've been, you know, doing music for years their audience is starting to be from TikTok. Like people are getting, that's where they're marketing and and getting notice from there, from that platform. But um, we, you know, if you can go back that far, um, you, we all know that Ari Lennox was on um, YouTube and like um, was doing cover songs on there. And then, you know, now we're here. But um, I really enjoy her as an artist. And then outside of her artistry, like, she's hilarious. I know some of you, um, uh, you log into her when she goes live and when she's on YouTube or whatever. Um, she's really personable and just outgoing and, again, hilarious. And we don't get that from artists too much. We don't get to see like them crack jokes with us and, you know, just be human. It's all, you know, some are secretive. They really, and I, it's understandable because people talk crazy on these social media platforms. They're not respectful. It's always that few bunch that want to come in on, on um, the lives or come on videos and make stupid comments. So it's good that she can be personable like that but in a way it's kind of like she's opening up to us while taking a risk because it's like people you gotta have really thick skin to because she's been attacked in the media you know that's how a lot of us black women you know we get pretty shitted on we've been getting shitted on um a lot but she she knows that that comes with it like um but yeah, she's been bullied on social media. So even now for her to just continue to do lives and be like, well, 
forget all these bullies on here and people talking crazy and they people gonna say stuff they gonna judge me but i'm here for my fans i still want to keep that connection with um you guys so i think that helps when it comes to uh, releasing projects and stuff like that because you want to keep your fans in the loop you want to keep that communication open with them and let them know, hey, this project's coming up or I'm working on this. Like, instead of just always being, you know, on Twitter or posting little, um, and I get it, like you have to market yourself and stuff like that. But again, it's nice that we have that kind of connection with her that, you know, she's open on the IG and she just, she don't care. She'll come up there. She'll be, uh, She'll say, child, I just woke up, but I just had to say hello to y'all. Like, she, she'll she say, she'll just be, she don't care. Hair can be all over the place, or it can be together. Makeup, no makeup, in some sweats or no sweats, dressed up, not dressed. It doesn't matter. Like, she just goes live when she, you know, uh, wants to keep us in the loop on something, or she just wants to have a conversation. So, um, that's just the things that I enjoy seeing and like about her but let's get into this album sorry i'm running my mouth but oh well y'all just gonna have to no i'm joking but um so we already she's been releasing videos along with um her singles that she's been um releasing from the album album um we already got hoodie uh off of there so i'm not gonna i i love the whole project but I'm just going to speak on um, a few of the songs that I have in rotation constantly and that I like listening to. Um, and then I just want, you know, it'd be nice if you guys want to comment below what your favorites are, um, when you heard of Ari Lennox and whatever else you want to uh, talk about. Just keep it, keep it nice. All right? Don't be getting wild and crazy because I know some of y'all, you know, you be wanting the attention. On, on the internet, you say some crazy mess. Um, but keep it light, okay? Feel me? I'm joking. Nah, but I'm being serious. Let's be nice. But, uh, yeah, I want to hear from y'all. What are your top favorites on there? Um, and how would you hear... When did you come across uh, Ari Lennox? When, where did you find her from? Like I said, I've been knowing about her, been on YouTube and doing her cover songs. Uh, so it's been a minute. But um, let's get into this album. So... Um, from what I've been reading and, you know, hearing like, this is, um, Ari kind of like, I believe she spoke about just, um, taking things that she's been going through and dealing with and things that's been on her mind and putting it on this project and just giving us something kind of like, you know, everybody's been in quarantine, the we done, the country done opened up, like everybody's out and about and enjoying life, but stuff is still happening. People are still getting in relationships. People are still dealing with love. People are still, um, dealing with people wasting their time. Um, people are dealing with men mental health, physical, like people are going through life. Okay. And this is what this is. You know, she's just, this is where she's at right now in her life. And she gave us an album about it. Um, Me Mug is definitely something that stays in rotation. Um, Boy Bye featuring Lucky Day. I love that song um, with him. And they've worked together on one of his projects. So him and, him and Summer Walker, Ari and Summer Walker and Lucky Day, they've kind of been like working with each other back and forth. So I love that, like how they're um, connecting and, you know, in any time Lucky and, well, all three of them, anytime they get on a project, it just seems like so genuine and like they really enjoy like the process of making a song together. So um, I'm glad that they worked again. But Boy by Mean Mug, um, Leak It featuring Chloe and Queen Space. Those are the songs that I've been having in rotation when I'm listening to this song over and over again. And like I always say, it can change because the more I listen to projects, the more, um, the more my, you know, I change up on my favorite songs. Um, but you guys comment below, tell me what y'all's favorites are. 
Um, and again, tell me when did you come across Ari? Like, it doesn't matter when, because you know, there's some crazy fans out there. They be like, I've been day one since day one. Like, chill. It's okay. It don't matter when you found out about an artist. It's just as long as you know about them now. Like, as long as you with it with what they're doing now. Like, that's all that matters. Like, it ain't that serious. Like, people chill. Like, a lot of people don't know about artists like that or they don't listen to music heavy like that so they just find out they get on the you know they get on late they get put on late but that's why y'all need to be you know checking out my youtube because i've posted artists that are up and coming um they've been doing music for a while but they're up and coming still they're still out there grinding and trying to get um you know people to get up on their music so this y'all in the right spot like and then I tweet like if you do music yourself I'll I tweet to for people to send submissions in there so yeah like call me I you know I be I listen to music from everywhere um so I I have an ear for hearing that artist and listening to music that other people look at be like, why are you listening to that? Like, you don't like your song that's on the radio or whatever? And I'm like, that's the problem. Like, y'all need to open ho open your horizon to different genres and and even in the same genre, genre of hip-hop, rap, and R&B, there's still artists that are out here grinding that people don't know about until they get, you know that one song and then everybody is on there and I'm like, but I've been telling y'all, like I've been put, trying to put y'all up on game and y'all thought I was crazy for listening to this artist. But now that, you know, TikTok or somebody done picked up on and everybody, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I appreciate y'all for listening to me run my mouth. Um, check out the album and again, comment below, like, subscribe. I appreciate you for listening to me. Let's love more out there. Stop this hate in this crazy ass world that we living in. And I see y'all later on another review. Bye.